I've spent a lot of time, like a lot, a lot of time browsing the 360 store and website to try and shed some ruddy light on all the games and DLC you lovely viewers may want to grab. But even though I didn't think the console could surprise me anymore, I still stumbled on a few games that had me like... What the hell is even that? This is mostly because a lot of the games on this list are region exclusives, but I thought it would be fun to take a look at them nonetheless. Right, so the first game I never knew existed until recently is Autobahn Police, 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 a highly sought after game for all those 360 collectors out there. From my minimal research, the game is based on a German TV show only released in some parts of the world, maybe part of the Crash Time series and is a pretty forgettable experience overall, which means it doesn't justify the staggering price it will cost you. Serious? Some other races I stumbled across are the Alarm for Cobra games and their odd box art. But after digging deeper, they are just the European versions of Crash Time, I think. I think. Next up, coming from the always reliable 505 Games is Field of Stream The Outdoor Challenge. Uh, apparently this one's an Xbox 360 exclusive, but to me looks like a ripoff of them Cabela hunting games. But is it a good ripoff? Well, no. Apparently it's one of the worst games on the console according to this brilliant review I stumbled across. So let's do a quick recap. Laughable graphics, non-functioning controls, PS1 era frame rate, infuriating gameplay and disgusting design. Looking at the achievement descriptions will show you that with from being spelled as form in half of them, inconsistent capitalizations, bad sentence structure, spacing errors, etc. This should not be played by anyone under any circumstances. You need this about as much as you need anal seepage. 40 likes on this review and I post a video of me urinating on the disc. Another game I never knew existed is Snipers, an online multiplayer only affair that tried to be Call of Duty but, you know, with sniper rifles. But yet again the game is apparently really fecking naff and you'll only be able to play it with bots in this day and age. So don't waste your time or money. Oh but, oh boot. A blibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblibblib
Apparently the Book of Unwritten Tales 2 is a sequel to an old PC game, but I never knew either existed. It's currently on sale right now, so maybe worth grabbing as this point and click affair is a smart and funny engaging adventure that throws back and honours a niche beloved genre of gaming. Well, that's what I'm told. I don't know, Jeff. I kind of forgot that the History Channel jumped into the gaming space on the 360, but what I remember seeing Battle for the Pacific about, I'm not sure I ever recollect stumbling upon Civil War Nation Divided and its sequel Secret Mission. From what I've read on Reddit, these games do have their fans, but are fairly standard first person shooters that will set you back a few bob or two. Chaotic is apparently a reasonably popular animated series and trading card game that got a video game dubbed Shadow Warriors in 2009, which means I likely missed it due to being 19 and guzzling copious amounts of vodka Red Bulls. Anyway, the game is a card collecting turn based RPG that received average reviews, but apparently is still a fun if a tad too simple good time if you're into that kind of jazz. Too jazzy. I did know Attack of the Movies 3D released on the Nintendo Wii and is a mindlessly good light gun based good ruddy time. But I never knew it got a 360 release, but 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 I've just got to assume that playing this type of game with a controller is a bit fecking naff. I'm genuinely intrigued by Bloodbath as it looks like a kinda bad but good time with a nice dystopian pulpy grindhouse tone to it, but from the two reviews and limited info I found apparently it's anything but a ruddy and bloody good time. So unless one of you fine peeps say otherwise, I might skip this one, or I'll wait until it's not going to cost me a fecking arm and a ruddy leg. Ten for that, you must be mad! If you love football, well then good news as FIFA 13 is the best FIFA game ever, fight me in the comments, and is available for super cheap. But if you're looking for something a little different, well then I stumbled across Love Football. It looks a little bit rough around the edges, but from the few reviews I've seen apparently it's pretty good. If anyone watching this has played it, well let me know what it's like. And lastly we have Lucha Libre AAA Heroes Del Ring. From what I've seen of the game it looks like your standard grappling, body slamming, steroid infused shenanigans, but just a tad more Mexican. What's in Mexico? Mexicans. Visually though, the game looks great, but apparently it has an odd control scheme that'll take some time to get used to. Personally though, if you're looking for that kind of game, I'd just buy WWE All-Stars. Trust me, it's so much fun. <gasps> right, that's your lot. What weird Xbox games did you not know ever existed until recently? Let me know down in the comments below, but until next time, as always, you guys stay tipsy.